Welcome back, my fellow Arats. Chapter 7, The Venerable. There is no suffering for him who has finished his journey and abandoned grief, who has freed himself on all sides and thrown off all fetters. They exert themselves with their thoughts well collected. They do not tarry in their abode like swans who have left their lake. They leave their house and home. Men who have no riches, who live on recognized food, who have perceived void and unconditioned freedom or nirvana, their path is difficult to understand like that of birds in the air. He whose appetites are stilled, who is not absorbed in enjoyment, who has perceived void and unconditioned freedom or nirvana, his path is difficult to understand like that of birds in the air. The gods even envy him whose senses, like horses, well broken in by the driver, have been subdued, who is free from pride and free from appetites. Such a one who does not duty, such a one who does his duty is tolerant like the earth or like a threshold. He is like a lake without mud. No new births are in store for him. His thought is quiet, quiet are his word and deed. When he has obtained freedom from true knowledge or by true knowledge, when he has thus become a quiet man, the man who is free from credulity, who knows the uncreated and who has cut all ties, removed all temptations, renounced all desires, he is the greatest of men. In a hamlet or in a forest, on sea or on dry land, wherever venerable persons or herantes dwell, that place is delightful. Forests are delightful. Where the world finds no delight, there the passionless will find delight, for they look not for pleasures. Let us contemplate chapter 7, The Venerable.